Hi everyone. Welcome back to more of the valley. Wanted to shake, make sure my lens was open all the way. I did not look like it. We are at Titan Rock. We're gonna make our way up the mountain. Ooh, oh, almost died there. Almost died. Note from Private Sparks. McDavid's been writing me again. It's like a guy can't take a nap anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard duty all at the time, but what I'm what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. Uh Calm down, calm down. Okay. I thought this one would be closer than that other one. Turns out it was not. Pendulum. Whoops. I don't know why that got me stuck. My microphone was a little far away. I think I need to do a running job. Yeah. That's exactly what I need to do. But first, let's bring some of these trees back to life. Alright, 
Let's make this run and jump. Ah, so cool. Oop. Oh, no, no, chill out. Chill out. There we go. Alright. Soma Utility Shack. I know there's more than one of those swarms around here. <laughs> Note from a worker. Working the pipes on this place is a real pain. It's as though they went all their, went out of their way to build a facility in the worst place imaginable, just to make it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure leak takes me half a day just to get to it. They ain't paying me enough, if you ask me. Pathfinder Trail. Infantry trail? Then down we go. Exit door. All right, reminder to all personnel, please keep a safe distance from the Amrita swarms. They often become territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is, if a swarm is blocking access for you, please request a Pathfinder to pacify the swarm. No swarms that I see. These lights still have power. Yet they were ahead of their time. Note from the Pathfinder. Dying while wearing the leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is as, is as a daydream one sometimes gets lost in. I die by falling into a lake and the next second I'm standing by the shore. No one else being the wiser about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Swing yourself up to new places with the Viper Coil Upgrade, allowing Pathfinders to latch onto dot dead eye crane blocks. Each use costs one unit of energy. Crane 
train block overhead. Note from the Pathfinder, we've got a large portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. I hear there's a couple of squads with almost enough medallions to access the big step pyramid. Note from Virginia King. Samsara, the repeating cycle of birth, life, and death, affected by the karma fostered during one's life. Is that what Pathfinders experience, constantly dying and reviving? According to Buddhism, there is no beginning of the cycle, but it can, however, be bo broken through enlightenment. Another one. I mean, the more vessels I have, the better. See, you can even take life from these little things. Let's see if I can do it. See, and then they be turn into this weird creature. There you go. I'll give it back to you. Where am I going? Whoops. Ooh, right into a swarm. Ow. Ow, that hurt badly. from an engineer. Ever since the Pathfinder program decided to use the Deadeye Crane blocks as part of their training, my engineers have been consistently putting themselves in harm's way to set them up. One poor fellow tragically fell to his death while stringing up a Deadeye, Deadeye across a chasm. We don't get to wear a damn leaf suit, otherwise he may have lived. What a waste. Yeah, I agree. Ow. Big fall, big fall. There we go. All the operating personnel are committed on the premise. In accordance with the War Measures Act, extreme security screening and clearance is in effect. All personnel entering cargo bay require appropriate badge identification. 
on my loading bay. Continue journey to reach mountaintop facility. No, the music has changed. It's a Pathfinder training facility. myself in the company of a pathfinder named Edgar Damn it. Hall. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me though. I tend to ramble a lot. I mean, who wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating? Guys love that stuff, right? <laughs> uh, I think he just liked me. Which is sweet. So at least he likes that you're a nerd. There are some guys who don't like that. I remember one time I was on a date. And we were talking, and he found out I was a nerd, and he literally ended the date right then and there. That, it sucked, because we had spent like 20, 30 minutes getting to know each other. Was eating at a restaurant. And we are just talking, and just suddenly he just got up and left. He was like, yeah, I don't deal with nerds. And then just left. That was quite upsetting. But whatever. At least he was just straight up honest, I guess. Rather than stringing me along. Ooh, there's one of those. Okay. You are pacified. Note from a researcher. Pathfinder squad point tally for the daily exercises. Land sharks, raptors, valkyries, buck riders, wild roses. Hmm. Note from a Pathfinder. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes that I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily I managed to extract its life before it could swipe at my face. I got real far from turning back to a I got real far before turning back to return its life energy. However, I hope I never see the likes of him again. Okay, so I need to go that way. Soma observation area. Concentration requires silence. All right. Perfect. Checkpoint four.
These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into the pyramid first is going to be tough. Hopefully I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore. Open any of these? Nope. Well, fine then. All right. Everything seems good. Soma facility. Da da da. How long has this been abandoned? Where did everyone go? Really? No treasure over here? Like, it makes you wonder how they got all this stuff up here. They probably flew it in. Oh, there's one right here. I was looking for. From a worker. Those colossi statues all over this valley are a bit unnerving. Why would the ancient people who lived here build that kind of stuff? As scary as they are, I still find there's a beauty to them. Something about those monstrous faces sitting amongst the calm, sitting amongst the calm forest captures an odd sense of allure. I want to explore the outside. Make sure I've got all the crates before I head in. I know there's a swarm around here somewhere. Not sure where it's at. Oh, energy bars, and I'm already full, so. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, I heard it. Wait, there's another one. Tricky, tricky. Don't think there's one over here. Alright. I'm not trying to 100% complete it, either. I've already done that once. Don't really need to do that again, and I don't think anything was special at the pyramid. It, like, gave you some upgrades, really, like a higher jump or something like that, or more energy cells. Really wasn't that great from what I remember. There we go. Cool. Oh. Use Amrita packs to restore a small amount of energy to your suit. I 
Where am I going? Oop, no, not what I wanted to do. Sorry, though. Perfect. While I appreciate being brought in to study the valley, I wish the military's presence here wasn't so domineering. I can't say these giant structures add much to the view. It would be nice if this was simply a place of study and conservation. I'm doing my best to steer the army away from the ruins, but the only thing that seems to concern them is their project. Gathering up as many of these strange orbs as they possibly can. Yeah, I just saw one of those and had to get it just in case. It's alright. Uh, I can't get up there. Can I get over here though? Oh, are you joking? I can't go in there? Alright, that's fine. We'll just have to redo it. Rita Storage. Ooh, I just appeared out of nowhere. Ooh, okay. I'd rather have had some energy packs and acorns, but whatever. Go down in there. Nothing over this way. Ooh, wow. Okay. That threw me way farther than I thought it would. Okay. Ooh, almost walked off. Alright. The life seed found within the valley produces once every thousand years from the so-called Titan Tree, has been confiscated by the military and taken to the Soma facility for scientific purposes.
explore a facility in search of the life seed. No trees or orbs nearby. Take energy from storage cells to restock your reserves. Drain all of it. Join us, victory job. Apply at your rational service office. Let's get all filled up. Note from a guard, I'd give anything to be a Pathfinder, but there's no way I'd ever be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad, I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things. Yeah, I don't know quite about that. Pick up audio logs. September 17th, 1942. My name is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Funds, pride, and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war thus giving rise to the name Pendulum. Now it's rising. It's rising. Okay, from a researcher. Within the Soma facility, we are surrounded by the Amrita field slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder's quantum death side effects. I was amazed to one day step out of the facility to see scores of trees dead around me. Yeah, there's no wonder, you know, you didn't mass produce these items. The world would be dead with everyone, you know, dying and coming back to life. Gotta be quick with that trigger. There we go. Huh. Don't see any crates.
as a precaution to both Nazi and Soviet espionage, Pendulum's location and purpose is unknown to the outside world. Taking a cue from the Manhattan Project, only a small few know of Pendulum's purpose, operating under the guise of an alternative energy project. As it came to light that Manhattan had been plagued with espionage, it was agreed upon to shroud Pendulum within the government itself. All those who knew of Pendulum's true intent are here. Though admittedly extreme, we can ensure an ironclad umbrella of secrecy. Information can only come in, and none can go out. As far as anyone outside this valley knows, Pendulum does not exist. This valley does not exist. Huh. It's another vent. I can get that. I'll have to keep my eye out for a vent. Okay. May have already missed it. It certainly seems like I did. Hmm. Cause I think I remember that crate. It was a little difficult to find. I think it was in that big room we were in. I think it was one of those to get to it. Okay. Now fill up on our energy gauge. What's this? I finally got to see one of those orbs out in the wild while I was on leave for the day. There is something surreal about them. I stare into it for who knows how long. Due, this is Andrew Fisher. Due to the power strain as the reactor ramps up production to meet our increased quota, we have experienced frequent power outages. As such, I've ordered Amrita generators as a backup power source to be temporarily installed throughout the facility. Blackouts should cease to occur. Ah, uh, this is so cool. Ooh, I see one. Almost missed it. We better finish it up finish up this project soon. Those supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to the isolation policy, we're on our own. The pilots know nothing of this operation other than their orders to drop off supplies to this location until the end of the year. I think they were told this was a mining operation. No wonder Fisher is going mad over our timelines. Nothing hidden over here. 
No notes. go. Ooh. It's odd to think about exactly what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up life? My ingredients really aren't any different than anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. That's what exactly makes me. So what exactly makes me me? I guess if anything I'm just a pattern. One that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe, like a whirlpool out of water. When I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe simply express, expressing itself? Hmm. Yep, lots of questions. Private Riley. I've been ordered to patrol the S Soma facility again today. I've circled through the same room 30 times since noon. At least I get the smile at the cute, <laughs> the cute scientists in the pressure chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Oh, uh, it's funny how from your side, you're trying to be sweet and kind and nice. And from her side, it could be really creepy. Like, why does this dude keep staring at me and smiling? And I think they're talking about Virginia King. That's who she's talking about. Oop, there's one. There's two. Damn. Okay. Alright. The energy orbs here are the key to the valley. Pendulum completely depends on the vast magnitude of energy these orbs contain within them. Regardless of where they come from, they are the key to ending the war. Through Pendulum, we can harness the so-called Amrita energy of the orbs and release it however we see fit. Oppenheimer's atomic bomb will pale in comparison to what we produce here. Yeah, I mean, my thought on this energy is what it'd be like to use it to produce energy for society, not a weapon. Memo, all personnel are expected to work longer hours during the ramp up in production. If you believe you are unable to perform your duties as expected, please report to a supervisor immediately. Can you hear me? Infrastructure report, the reactor and thermal diffuser are very unstable and must be located both far apart and underground to ins ensure any accidental, explo accidental explosions are contained. Large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountain. Conveniently, one of the mountains already had an ancient tunnel leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and weapons site. The two sites are connected via underground rail to transport material. All right. Already read that one. <clears throat> Please refrain from wasting office supplies unnecessarily. Stock is running low. Please exhaust all office supplies to their fullest extent. Uh, light went out. Boiler maker. 
They told us we were building some sort of alternative energy facility here, but little else. Tradesmen are only allowed in certain areas at certain times for certain jobs. They're keeping us completely in the dark. Having us all focus on a single task at a time rather than giving us any hints into the bigger picture. What are they hiding from us? From a contractor. Now that the isolation policy is in effect, I found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk to my family back home, let them know I'm doing okay. Not creepy at all. Schrodinger's cat. This is beyond my wildest imagination. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. So they jump in between parallel worlds. Is that what he was trying to say? I mean, if this place had really been abandoned for really long. Oh. One of those. I just heard the flies and saw the food and thought that was just rotting food and flies. And I was like, if it's been abandoned that long ago there still would not be food around. Okay. I did not fully get to explore this place. But it wasn't flies, it was just that swarm. Over here. Uh, Charlotte Smith. I've run through the annual psychological assessment for all personnel stationed in Area 634. Many are reaching a breaking point in their isolation from friends and family back home. The work hours demanded from them is taking its toll on morale. Despite this, most are quite mentally stable. The project lead, Andrew Fisher, does concern me. So she must be the psychologist on duty? Archives. Okay. Researcher Miller. Today, one of the guards patrolling the Soma facility walked by. I asked him if he was keeping an eye on things. I don't think he got it. <laughs> ah. Eye on. Ah, oh, that's funny. Uh, that seems like some kind of joke I would make and then the other people would not get it. And I'd just be like, oh, okay, whatever. The leaf suit may prove to be the pinnacle feat of pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the god hand. The agility and the ability to circumvent death. All things to all thanks to the Amrita energy converted from this valley's orbs. 
We can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II's success will herald a new wave of iterations. Ooh, Private Matthews. The way that Edwin makes a show with Virginia all the time really makes my teeth grind. Everyone knows that romantic involvement between personnel is prohibited, yet no one does anything about it. Why does he get to run around with the girl while the rest of us sit around and play poker for the nine thousandth time? Nine thousandths. Facilities that ask for study to test out Pendulum's newly designed leaf suit. Do you have what it takes to master the marvels of this groundbreaking technology? Pathfinders are divided into squads of three. Your objectives include testing leaf technology and to aid the anthropological effort as we further explore the ruins of this spectacular valley. You know what this just now occurred to me reminds as me of? Such, it reminds me of Bioshock. Like the level of technology and the design of it, um, and even the voices and the recordings, it all reminds me of Bioshock. I think that's why I love this game so much, because I really love the Bioshock games. To produce bombs of unparalleled yield, we rely upon the life seed housed within a reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. The toxicity report came in from the autopsy performed on the late latest Pathfinder Pathfinder fatality, fatality. As suspected, an excess of DXIX led to ca cardiac arrest. The sooner we circumvent the need for DXIX, the better. Hmm. I don't remember anything about a drug. Researcher Miller, the other scientists were all take were talking about atoms. I told them not to trust them since they make up everything. <laughs> they asked me to leave. Oh, that's hilarious. I like this guy, Miller. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. What can I bring back to life? Oh, that's it? Okay. That's hilarious. Uh oh. Oh, I knew it. You just chill out. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I think that's it. I think it was just two of them. Research Miller. I've been trying to think of new puns all day about the stored energy of an object. I think a lot of them have potential. Okay. Depending on the degree of magnitude, certain organisms provide very little amrita energy when targeted by the leaf suits God hand. 
Smaller organisms such as insects, grass, flowers, and other less substantial entities provide close to zero energy, therefore affording no value for Pathfinder seeking energy. Music needs to chill out for a moment. And I need to be ending this video soon because I got stuff I gotta do. I thought that bombs being created were impressive enough, but it's the new weapon prototype that will undoubtedly steal all the attention. It's called the Thanatos. Anything underneath here? Don't see it. I hate that annoying pun guy. What, Research Miller? I went into storage looking for inert gas to fill the glove box. He walked by with the last canister in hand and told me it was Argon. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> oh. That's hilarious. Ooh. Quantum death and immortality use leaf technology in a fascinating field to study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of an accident cutting it short. Albeit the use of immortality is a misnomer, as the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive. This can only hold true until all practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die as that parallel world is very unlikely to exist. Okay, Andrew Fisher. When I met Einstein at Princeton, I couldn't help but see a hint of Oppenheimer's reflected in him. I was astonished by his clairvoyance into the makeup of our universe, viewing the experience of all things of natural and spiritual in perfect unison, with the self acting as little more than an optical illusion in the, perpetu the perpetual flow of the universe. When Oppenheimer and I studied Indology, under author writer, I could see the same compassion and empathy for all living things brewing within him. Okay. Andrew Fisher. It was soon discovered that if the Pathfinder has a vision of their own death, it is in fact their actual dying. Instead of remaining dead, they branch into a new wave of reality whereupon they continue to live, albeit at the cost of an equivalent amount of life within that, within that branch. To put it plainly, if a pathfinder wearing the leaf suit dies through some accident, their death is traded with the life of, nearby, of a nearby living thing. They achieve quantum immortality. Effectively, those wearing the leaf suits gain the ability to deny the actuality of a wave function collapse. In other words, the ability to branch through various ob objective realities as part of a mini world theory of quantum mechanics. Within this ability, pathfinders have a vision of themselves dying. Each time this occurs, something nearby dies, such as an animal or nearby vegetation. Andrew Fisher. Tracing the life seed's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the Pleistocene, Plasticine extinction event. I was led to this valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon immediate examination of one of the orbs, I discovered their vast energy potential. With the help of pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed within the valley. Oppenheimer won't believe his ears upon hearing the marbles I've accomplished. Okay. So they're basically in competition with each other. Ooh. Why in hell is Fisher making up ramp, 
why in the hell is Fisher making us ramp up production? We're already working ourselves half to death down here, and now we want sleep-deprived people working around the clock. We're working on explosives, for crying out loud. This Fisher guy is out of his mind, a total me megalomaniac. Just look at the Pathfinder suit statue in the main lobby. I can't believe we all have to take orders from him, unquestionably during this wartime. Sure, I can't be the only one who feels this way. Yeah, they're not really liking him. Okay. I think that was everything, right? I want to go here. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Edwin thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming quieter. Are we gradually killing this place? That self-righteous anthropologist is stirring up trouble again. Her moral objections to this project are the last thing I need on my mind. If it weren't for the isolation policy, I'd have her removed from the premises and sent back home. Yep, they were. They were harming Valley. Green. Another full canister. Or vessel. Whatever they're called. Okay, chill, chill. Okay. Perfect. Okay, that was the only one. Okay, I want to look around here for a minute because we are back from a guard. Right before, right before being sent out here, I got to see the Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. That goal by O. P. D. Lungel was one to remember. I bet anything they're going to win the Cup again next year. I'd even bet my children on it. <laughs> they don't really like me anyhow. Wow. You sound like a great father, let me tell you. I just swore. I may be mistaken. I don't know how to get to that one crate. Let's 
Right here. Aha! Here it is. Perfect. <laughs> the orbs that grow within the valley yield vast deposits of energy. Pendulum aims to win the war by harnessing this energy used in the leaf seed, the life seed. Bombs created using the energy have the potential to destroy entire cities. Sweet, and I think this will be a save point. Alright. Perfect quest updated. Get to the reactor deep within the mountain. Get where you need faster with the push rod piston maximum velocity upgrade. Oh crap. Our newly developed pushrod pistons will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. Yeah, this is the section that I really freaking love too. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna end it right here for today. We will pick it up next time with riding the rails. So thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.